This video will show you how to connect Easy PLC's machine simulator to Somatic's WinAC RTX using the uh, Easy PLC's OPC driver. First install Somatic Net and then install WinAC RTX. If you're using or plan to use the Somatic Manager, don't bother installing uh, NCM that comes with WinAC. Once that's installed, we need to configure the WinLC CPU using the station configurator. First we add the CPU. Select OK. And we add the OPC driver or the OPC server. Okay. Now we need the station name. Call it whatever. We need to know it for when we set up S7 Manager. Okay, set up a new project. Insert a new PC station which we have to call the name we just remembered. Notice the icon changed. If you don't do this step, nothing will work. Now we need to configure the hardware. Scroll down until we get to our CPU. User application, get our OPC server, which is the same version as the net you installed. Double click to bring up the properties, go to S7, activate the access protection, and set the cycle time to 10. That's how often the OPC server pulls the, um, the WinLC CPU and gets the information. We have to set this even though we're going to set up the uh, Easy PLC OPC rate. Okay. Save and compile. Now we can close this. Set up an OPC connection, which brings up Net Pro. Right click on the OPC, set up a new connection. It's going to be S7 connection. Everything's default there. Just pick OK. In here, we want a local ID. That's going to be our OPC topic name. Save and compile. Close this. I'm going to need some code. Just use ladder logic.
Okay, our standard stop start stop circuit. Going to run the conveyor. What a great program. Save. Run the WinLC CPU. Oops. Download our code to it. Bring up OPC Scout. Now we can browse the OPC Somatic Net server. All we care about is S7. And there's our Apple's topic. Okay, so let's browse this open a little bit more. Got our objects. We care about M. If we click on templates, this shows us here the format we need to make our tags for the Easy PLC OPC. Notice it's MX, not just M0.0. .0. And our topic is going to be S7 colon apples. We don't need to set anything up in here. Now we bring up our Easy PLC. Create a new project. Remove the simulated driver. Add our OPC driver. Add the machine simulator. Configure our OPC driver. Okay, so we want the OPC Somatic Net server. And our topic was S7 colon apples. Set up a poll rate of 10. Okay, our PLC output is going to be the conveyor, which is the MX0. And our PLC inputs are the two push buttons. For the uh, virtual PLC CPU, we just want to set the cycle speed to one millisecond. We're not doing anything with the CPU other than transferring data back and forth between the machine simulator and uh, the WinLC. Save. Now we need some code to transfer the data between the two. Add a new main sequence. A script I'll just paste it in so we're writing an output this is from uh, hardware zero from the input we read from the machine simulator those will be the two push buttons and then write the conveyor of the machine simulator from the input we're reading from the WinLC. Save. Compile and send to the virtual PLC CPU. 
launch the virtual PLC CPU. Okay, we're connected. One input, two outputs. Run so we connect the two together. Get our code. Connected to the WinLC. Watch it. Run. Doesn't do much, but it works. Let me add in some code to make it a fully functional machine. Back to Easy PLC. We're going to change the code so that it handles four inputs and two outputs, the two conveyors, the two photo sensors, and uh, the two switches. I'm going to go back to our OPC driver. I've already set it up, but I'm going to change them so that we have our four inputs and two outputs. Okay, so save. Compile and send it to our virtual CPU. Launch the virtual CPU. Run it. Okay, modify our ladder logic. This way we run and start and stop it. It uh, counts to 10 apples when it gets to the uh, when it gets to the conveyor, the apple conveyor, and then it continues on its merry old way. Download the code. Uh, I already did. stop that conveyor or stop the whole machine it still continues its count it's counting down last apple goes by, you don't want to move the box right away. Wait for the last apple to fall, give it an extra second. Stop. Start. And that's all there is to it.